Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the Fire Emblem 12 Pick My Ints Run on Maniac Difficulty. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and let's get into it. So, today we have Cecil with the Star Sphere and Mathis with the Io Shield. Uh, you'll see why here. I'm just gonna highlight these guys, so maybe you can take a guess yourself. Yeah, this chapter we fight a lot of heroes with high speed. Kinda wish. I kept Ashram alive for this chapter, because I'm pretty sure he gets replaced by a hero that actually doesn't suck shit. But, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. Fighting a hero that doesn't suck shit might have been more convenient for this chapter. How disgraceful. Thieves in the castle. I know, right? Myers, right? Anyway. So, alright. So, this run's going pretty good so far. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mathis. You know, we got a, uh... We're getting the Iron Man squad back together. We have Caesar trained up. We have S tier. Now all we need is Thomas, and we will truly be gaming. Fortunately, Caesar is not a dark mage like he is meant to be, but oh well. Now let's see what we can do about this new thief situation. Unfortunately, the quick lance isn't really enough to one around these suckers. But I suppose I can just attack him with my Iron Lance. Ooh, wow, you really don't even do half to a thief with Weapon Triangle S. It's okay, it's okay, ladies and gentlemen. She's got this. She's good, she's good. Alright. And we're gonna have our entire army move in in the uh, down under direction. Oh yeah, Massalon. Uh, let's see, how do you compare to Yubello? Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's pretty safe to say that like, I don't get what's the point of having a late-game general join. Because we are pretty much late-game at this point. I mean, we're chapter 16 and this game is like, what, 24 chapters? And you give us a general that has less defense than... Has the same defense as Luke. But less... but 10 less HP. It's really kind of ridiculous. But what he can do is, which is interesting, is reclass to Sniper. And then he'll have A and Bows. So, like, good for him, I guess. 12 strength, though. Yeah, it's not looking good. Going down under. Because there's no way we can catch up to these thieves. That are going to open these chests. But what we can do is cut off their escape. Since they're, like, going through the ocean right here. I mean, the, like, lakes. That's not really an ocean. But, uh, yeah. So, let's go. Alright. Yep, there they go, and what will happen is that reinforcements will start coming. And those are pretty nasty, but we're gonna have Est do something pretty clever with those reinforcements. Hopefully. Ugh, Est, you can't catch that guy. But Mathis can, which is good. Good. It's okay, we'll get your strength up eventually. Maybe I'll buy her some strength potions. Now we have the Geosphere, which increases ally critical hit rates, which is nice. And now we really want to get our Lady Cecil moving so she can start clearing out some snipers. And now, ladies and gents, what I'm going to do is have Est the best stand right here. If you recall from the chapter where we killed Ashdram, we kind of just juked the reinforcements until the end of time. So we could clear the chapter without having to deal with any pressure. Well, now we're gonna do the same thing with this chapter, because the reinforcements come from, like, right here, and what you can have S do is just... or any unit that can move on water in my first run, I did it with Cord as a pirate. You can just go, oh, I'm over here, come get me. Oh, no, I'm on the water, you can't reach me, and you just do that until the end of time. It's really funny. It's classical hijinks. And there are a lot of reinforcements this chapter, you really don't want to deal with them. Yeah. Unfortunately, they do be coming. Alright, so let's draw out the sniper by having Matthew Boy stand right here. Have Cecil go up more, because with the Star Spear, she doubles them and presumably one-rounds them. 
So Cecil and Mathis, dynamic duo right there. And have everyone else keep moving forward. Uh, like this. Yeah. Rassilon, he has a hard time just surviving this chapter. So imagine... Yeah, he really is better if you get him as a sniper though. Because A, rank bows is not something a lot of characters have. Like, George has it. And I think Massalon might have higher stats than George at this point. Or would have. I don't know. I killed them both. Yep. Master Seal. So now, what's gonna happen is... Oh, the sniper didn't move. Well, okay. Give me my thing back then, I guess. That thief. Perish! Surprised these longbow guys aren't really attacking. But maybe I can have Mathis try to draw out another one. So go on the water right up here. I guess we'll have everyone else catch up. Est, you go back. Because you, because now next enemy phase, the enemies are going to start acting real pissy towards us. It's going to be real unfortunate. You know, they made a new banner. You know, sorry for the late upload today, but they made a new banner for Fire Emblem Heroes last night, and I was doing a lot of other things like homework and hosting a friend. So I kind of forgot to record an episode in the mix of things, so sorry about that. So this is going up later, but there should be a new scripted video later today. No, oh, not my Speedwing, I need those. Okay, so now they are going for Mathis. Oh shit, buddy, you for serious? Damn, these bitches are strong. Why didn't they go for Mantis earlier, I wonder. Yeah, so now everyone's like, oh. Yeah, but now we're gonna have them go for Est, who, as you may recall, is the best. Could probably just have her pick off this mage guy right here. But, these mages do be doing a lot of damage. Anyway. So this longbow guy did not really act when I wanted him to is unfortunate. And that crit was also unfortunate. Ah, shit. What have I done? Steel bow? Alright. Give the killer bow to him, I suppose. That could be nice. Killer bow. Please, Luke. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Alright, now I'm gonna try to lure out these guys, and, uh... I suppose have Mathis go for a mending, since Cecil's definitely not staying in range this turn. Yeah, we definitely need to lure out this longbow guy to a space where I can actually fight him. He'll probably try to go for Massalon, honestly, which would be convenient. And now, how can we fully manipulate these guys into doing S-spitting? Arcanea Warrior B. So these all count as river tiles, so let's just have her go right here for now. Move Cecil back. And then mend her. I guess have the bellow be in range since he doesn't really care about getting longbow. And then next turn we're really gonna bop that sucker. And let's see you. Uh, I don't really need a steel lance, so I will give me a voluntary because Mantis is probably gonna be the one cutting off the thieves here from escaping like the bastards they are because they have the stuff I want, ladies and gents. They have it. And I'm not going to let him take it. Yeah, see, so they just don't stop coming. So it's good to have a lure. Elysian whip. Okay, yep. And there he goes, ladies and gents, he's gone. <laughs> Could not even survive a sniper on his joint chapter. That is peak gaming right there. Thank you, Massalon. Even Dolph was useful against thieves on his joint chapter. But you see, ladies and gents, he's a growth unit. So he's quirky like that. Because he has really high growths if you want to look him up. 
but he's like an armor kite. I guess, yeah, like I said, you can really train him a, as a sniper if you're like into that. What do you guys have? Hammers, so that's not really the best. Alright, instead of fighting the sniper, I think it'd be best to just keep moving forward. Because, yeah, if we waste time fighting him, then we're going to get hit by these guys, and then S purpose kind of ceases to be. Alright. Well, let's just keep moving towards the heroes. To cut them off, hopefully. Alright. So, Silver Sword, Crit 12, Luck 14. Alright. So I have no problem having Luke fight this fine gentleman this turn. That might make the Thieves pissy. Uh, but it doesn't matter this turn, I guess. Alright. So whatever, let's just go. We got places to be, ladies and gents. Places to be. That aren't here. Wish I had a longbow. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Alright, Phoenix cannot make it across the doo-doo zone, I just realized. Might have to hold these guys off for a turn. Problem is the combination of a bow. And if, yeah, Est's purpose kind of really failed here. Next time I'm going to have her stand on this side right off the bat. Just so they go this way first. Yeah, yeah, that was the way to do it. Because I had her stand on this side for too long. So then the guys got disinterested. Yeah, and now... Yeah, this is definitely not the way to go about doing it. Hmm. Yeah. But who knows, this might be salvageable. Definitely not, though. Let's see, attack 31, defense 7. He could miss, ladies and gents, he could miss. Could definitely miss. Yeah. What's your accuracy on me? I mean, on her. Blizzard 71. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Uh, this game. This game. Next time I'm going to give Luke a silver bow right off the bat too, but whatever. Let's see how it goes, I guess. Now let's have S move over this way. Yeah. Oh, no, porn's dead. 100% hit. Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I will be right back. Bye-bye. Alright, ladies and gents, and we are back. And now that we have Est on this side, the strategy is going much more smoothly. As you can see, these guys are just kind of blocking each other, stumbling over who gets Est. So, yeah, that's going all well on my end. Now let's mend up our lovely loop. For dealing with those mean old snipers, while well, Mathis goes to cut off the thieves like he would, uh, Matt Salon is still dead, uh, but this time I actually used him to chip a longbow guy, so I guess he contributed more than he did last time, which is nice. That's always nice when you can make an uh, interesting unit contribute. Oh no, here they come! You see, ladies and gentlemen, they really do make it- oh, some of them are still going. But some of them are not, which is good. Break them up a bit more. Yeah, so they're going. The thieves are going out this way, which is perfect for Mathis cutting them off. Yeah, so a lot of them are still going in the est direction. I guess we weren't far enough away, but dealing with like a couple of these guys won't be an issue. Like, yeah, this one doesn't even have the killer bow. So, yep, now we just go back to the safety retreat corner, because these guys are very deadly. And now I think I'll wait for this thief to come out a bit more, since I don't want Mathis fighting this here hero. Keep moving forward, because I do not want to deal with those guys. Yeah, so what are we dealing with here? A lot of heroes. Speed wing that I desperately want. So let's just keep moving onwards and upwards, I say. Hmm. This is getting a bit precarious, though. Maybe next turn I can have you bellow. 
get something done. Actually, yeah, why don't I move you Bellow up a bit more? Into the danger zone to secure a safe path for us. That sounds like the best plan to me right now. Considering he is you Bellow, our lord and savior. Alright. And now we just have Mathis keep waiting on those thieves. Yep. Wait, that's the escape point? Well, that, whatever, that guy just had a Master Seal, which I don't need at this point. I, yeah, I'm not promoting anyone else, but... What? That's the escape point? Seriously? This map keeps frickin' surprising me, Jesus. But as long as I get my speed wing... Oh, that doesn't matter, because that's just a Master Seal, and let's see, I promoted everyone I'm going to use at this point. And you probably get another one later anyway, so yeah, I'm not too heartbroken about that. The problem is this fucking hammer guy is annoying. So yeah, why don't we have Legend of Luke take on these guys? Yeah, my speed wing, thank you, thank you very much, need that. Because you see, yeah, I definitely need the speed wing, but I did not need the master seal. Crit 12, Lux 6, yeah, let's not. Alright. The problem here is that these heroes are kind of funky fresh. But as long as I don't get in range of the hammer douchebag, I'll be fine. Yeah. So I guess I'll just have Yubello stand here and see what these this guy does. Let's see. He has a uh, large boolean, which I want, and this guy has the Elysian Whip, which I want, which I don't need. So that thief's probably going to get aggro now that I'm blocking his escape point. So maybe he'll make actually Marth get up here because of his high movement. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in Marth taking on some of these heroes. And then I can physic him. There's the attack. 28, attack 32. Yeah, these heroes aren't much stronger than these thieves. Steel sword. If I had a silver sword, I could one round him. So why don't I just store my steel sword and get a silver out of the convoy? Yeah. Yeah. Store. Steel sword. Retrieve. Silver sword. Sure is nice having a convoy. When it's not Merle and it's in Fire Emblem Heroes, then it's not nice having a convoy. And goodbye. So that's good. Now we can keep moving forward with the rest of our troops to hopefully not perish at the hands of warriors. For the sake of testing, let's see what this is. Not the worst matchup in the world for Caesar. But yeah, let's just keep moving forward for now. And now, to keep up the distraction, I have Est go back to her corner. Yeah, here they come. Now they're coming. No double, big sad. And they are gonna fully heal them. Whatever. At least we don't have to fight all the annoying ass reinforcements with our best in the way. We will eventually try to pick all those guys off, because that is very good EXP, but after we get to that save point, definitely. And deal with all the heroes, and get chests and whatnot. Yeah, this chapter is a tricky one. Yeah, okay, now all the heroes are coming, okay. This is something, alright. Oh boy. Now these guys are finally starting to catch up, so I need a unit that can deal with them. 20 speed. So what if I trade Caesar the Star Sphere? Or maybe Board. That'd be interesting. Yeah, first things first, we need to get these assholes out of here. So I suppose I'll just start picking them off with loot. That ought to do it. There we go. Obtained Volinary. Well, actually, I'll just keep that. 
on my person. I don't need the... Slayer, yeah. Ryth has a pretty good chance of critting these guys, so I'll just leave him right here. So now let's have you trade the Star Sphere over to board. And then he'll double. Luck. Alright. Hmm. Crit 9, and then I have 9 luck. Perfect. What's the minimum range of your cohorts? Oh, that's good, that's good. So this is not a big threat right now. All I really have to do is put board right here, and then I can probably finish him off with Roderick next turn. So yeah, why don't I just do that right now? Let's go. My man board doubling these here pirates. Well, they're not pirates technically, but I'll well. Convoy store, don't need the steel bow, and I'll get a nice juicy volunteer that I have so many of. And then I can have Luke and Cecil and Mathis with the javelin and Caesar pick the rest off. And then actually after this guy's dealt with it with his nasty mean silver axe and his high speed, I can just have Brittany Bellow deal with the rest of these losers. Because, yeah, let's see. Speed 15. Easy, easy, easy. It's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. It's really that easy. And S is still in her pain corner. Wait, what? You're, that wasn't supposed to be this way. I checked your ranges specifically for this reason. What the fuck? Dude, I checked your range specifically for this reason. Okay, I guess I just fucked up the range then, because, haha. <laughs> Now I have to replay this whole chapter. Fuck me. That's annoying. I, 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 like, I specifically placed board to not be in their ranges. What did I do there? Like, what? I don't get that. I really don't get that. What the hell happened? Like, what? Like, that doesn't make sense. I guess I just placed him wrong, because that could be the only way that happened. That's still dumb, because... Fuck. <sighs> this chapter's really annoying with all the shit it tosses at you. God fucking damn it. I'll be right back. Hello, ladies and gents, and we are back. You know, I was thinking to myself, what would our good friend Dimitri from Fire Emblem do in this situation? Well, he would kill every last one of them. So I gave Marth the Star Sphere and had Caesar stay next to him with the Geosphere. And just like that, the heroes all burned to death. Isn't, that, isn't it interesting how that works out sometimes? Get a crit. Nice. So we're just gonna take the more aggressive approach with these here hero bastards. And fucking murder them. Because that's what everyone loves doing, right? Beating your enemies to death until they die. Favorite. Alright, now Luke, you deal with this Joker. R, don't. Okay, whatever, that's fine. It's just a kill from my dude, CZ Pop. And there he goes. Goodbye, Mr. Hero. And let's see what Caesar has in terms of levels. Eh, not bad. I'm gonna give him the speed wing anyway. So more strength is appreciated. Silver X. So yeah, today in Fire Emblem I just felt like killing my enemies, you know how it is. Still one guy left here with the silver sword, but I can just have Marth stand here and chuck Volinary and he'll be good. And these thieves are like not gonna do much. And we still have Caesar in Geosphere range in case Marth feels like critting. Uh, the beauty of death and killing those that which you hate. So nice, so pleasant. We still have one warrior coming at our ass because I positioned S a little better this time as to draw more people in. But, and oh yeah, Massalon actually managed to survive this round. It's quite intriguing how that works out. 
I see, I feel the evil. My hands will crush them all. Brave hearted hero. Black hearted evil. I am, I am. All I am. It's gonna be. I'm just gonna kawash a tie killing those guys. Instead of me walking down there and killing each individual, everyone. Hey, 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 hey. You. You. You get back here. Where do you think you're going, mister? I need my speed wing. Hello? Seriously, where is this guy going? What I can do is have Roderick put his ass right here, because he's not doing much this turn, and then we can finally save. So let's do that. Let's save game. And then kill some motherfuckers, why don't we? Alright. Alright, that's a board kill right there. Ba boom. Alright, now I think I'm gonna rig a crit on the killer bow so I don't have to worry about too many thieves in one turn. Well, what can I do here? I can get this guy and then this guy will just attack with bow alone. Yeah, I don't need to rig a crit at all because I have. But I could get a crit, which would be cool, I think. Come on, Caesar, show him how it's done. Or don't. Don't do that. And now that we have a save point, I am much less concerned about this chapter. I forgot to mend for Marth, but oh well, I don't think this guy will kill him anyway. Speedwing git. This guy just has a puny blow alone. Now, watch as the amazing me. Well, I don't even need to quick lights this guy. Um, there's nothing wrong with just tossing an iron lance his way. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lillian L. Of course, we don't want to get immediately uh, messed up by an army of reinforcements because. Look at this enemy density, ladies and gentlemen. The level design the level design was the creators of FE12's passion, you can tell. But they really put their heart and soul into designing the levels of this game. Anyway, so let's not block off the thief's exit, so hopefully he just comes right up. And prepares to die. Prepare to die! Yes. 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 Or maybe just have him go for Massalon, I don't know like an easy target. Alright, so let's see what happens here. You can't kill Mathis, are you stupid or something? Is you a stupid idiot? Oh my, they're still going for Marthy Pan and friends, that's not good. Well, only some of them are. Okay, so they've elected to, the thief has elected to bypass my defenses. Not a fan of that. See, what does this one have? An Elysian Whip. Getting that would be nice for money purposes, but I don't exactly need it, is the thing. So I think I'm just gonna let that one go. Yeah, I don't really. Let's get Cecil in range to increase the odds of this. Well. Well. Let's just have Luke steal though this guy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for war, I suppose. Since we are going to have to deal with uh, Jiminy Cricket load of guys. Crit 29, oh boy. So let's just stack evasion on Luke, I'm thinking. Yeah, that seems like the sound plan right now. This thief's going to get away with the Elysian whip, but I really couldn't care less. And I still have Est segmenting these guys, which is good. Yeah. So let's have Marth. So let's have. Yeah. Let's have you stand right here to support. Roderick stand right here to support. And then Marth stand right here and have him equip a steel sword for that weapon triangle advantage. 
And now he has like three people supporting him, I think we'll be good. In terms of evasion and whatnot. Yeah, let's just mess off here. Perfect, 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 perfect. What do you have? Just a hammer? That's not really a big threat to me at the moment. Mend up my boy, Mathis. And next turn, ladies and gentlemen, I think is going to be quite a combat-heavy turn, so... We'll see how that turns out, I suppose. Jeez, what were they thinking, giving this dude 12 strength? Oh my god. It's really sad. Here they come, alright. Nice miss, loser. No crit, unfortunate. Getting one of these guys out of the picture would have been nice. But my evasion stacking worked out well. But oh lord, some of them are coming. Actually, a whole bunch of them are coming. And they all have killer weapons. It certainly is a Fire Emblem Reclaim the Capital chapter moment. Look, if you had just gotten a crit there, that would have been so cool. Would have been really cool. Alright. Who can I have just block this off? He has a hammer. Alright, just one around this guy and get him out of my hair. Out of my hair. Thank you. Ooh, more magic. Nice. And I got a hammer for free. Alright. CZ Pop. You're one away from doubling these guys. Alright. How am I gonna go about doing this this turn? So why don't I try killer bowing this guy right off the bat, I suppose. See how that goes. It won't kill, but... Nope, no crit. But then I can silver bow him. So let's see how that works out. It doesn't, okay. But now I should just be able to finish him off with somebody. Yeah, that'll do. Get him, Mathis. There we go. There we go. And now, this guy right here is a gone. That guy right there is gone. Voluntary, okay. One speed away from having board, just take out one of these guys, which would create a more convenient choke point, but I suppose it doesn't matter too much. Mender right here. Let's have Luke equip a bow, actually, so, yeah, they'll, these guys will go for Luke, yeah, and then that'll get the mage out of the way. Yeah, Marth doesn't need the star spear at this point, so let's have him equip the iron sword, and then have Massillon or something, in case this goes awry, I don't want Yvello dying, star spear. And then give it to Luke, but then have Luke equip a bow, so then Luke he so then he just doesn't get attacked over and over again. Yeah. And this is a choke point. So let's see if it works out well for us. And move Est back in range for those that are still interested in pursuing her rather than the main force. Oh yep, there he goes. Oh, oh, oh ladies and gents. Oh. Wait, why are you going for Marth? 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 Luke's right there. Luke's right there. No, you don't get it. Luke is right there, and he has less defense. You're, you're not you're not getting the program. Luke is right there. Luke is right there. Stop going for Marth. Are you stupid? He had less defense. Miss. Yes. Now, Marth, don't kill. No, you fucking moron. He just had to crit. Fucking damn it. Oh. Okay. I just don't get why they went for Marth. Like, can someone explain that bit to me? This chapter's frustrating. I don't... Like, hold on. It's defense? So that's 21 defense. 
and then 17 defense. It, and then Marth had more HP. The AI of this game shouldn't work that way, to my recollection. Oh, whatever. Easy board kill, I guess. And now, I think the worst part is finally over, ladies and gents. I think the worst part is finally over. So, yeah. Now we just have these this little squad to deal with. And that's no thing, really. Yeah, not really. I just gotta heal everyone up and shit. So let's do that then get our first board kill in a while. Yeah. There we go, there we go. There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine, we're good. Nothing bad ever happens in my Fire Emblem runs. Nothing bad ever happens in my Fire Emblem runs. Not once, not ever. I'm perfect at fire up. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, shout outs to Massalon for not dying, I guess. Shout outs to Massalon. Oh boy. 90, so next kill is a level up. Okay. Yeah. And then killing the actual guys up here shouldn't be too big of a task. Oh, they put a sniper right here in the remakes. I mean, in the originals, I'm pretty sure you could just walk up to this guy and kill him without much opposition. But should be no match for the mighty force of Ubello, so I don't give a shit that much. All right, S to draw them back in while I continue to heal. And for my man board, and let's see what his level up brings him. Let's see what his level up of power brings him. I hope more speed, because he's just on a doubling threshold where he wouldn't need the rainbow potion to double some guys. So let's see, get speed, my buddy, my boy. You bastard. <sighs> Whatever. We have rainbow potions for days anyway. But yeah, let's continue healing. For sure. Just to get free EXP and shit. And now, ladies and gents, I think... Let's see, yeah. Now we can, I think... Well, we're gonna... We're gonna kill this guy first, obviously, with my Elysian Whip, because I can sell that for cash money. Train Roderick a bit, since some people want me to train Roderick. Silverbow first, I guess. And then dance and steel bow. <sighs> Alright. Alright, let's see what Roderick gets. Oh hey, not bad actually. Now we got all the 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 treasure the thieves were trying to steal. We move Est back into the ocean, the lake, the river. Now I'm thinking we can actually try to take on these guys. So, yeah, let's go for it. No fear. Hashtag no fear. And if need be, we can always sacrifice Massalon. Then get the chest with Mar. There's a lot to do this chapter, ladies and gents, a lot to do. Luckily, we are fully prepared. Alright. Have all of our main forces gather at the front. Yeah, imagine not trying to do a cheesy strat where you distract the enemy. I really don't know how you would take on all those reinforcements just as they come. Sounds like a ridiculous task. Alright, killer bow. 
crit 20. What's your luck, girl? Luck 21. I'll just kill them as they come, ladies and gents. I got no problem just massacring them as they arrive. Because I have a dancer, I have everything I need really to just go full kick a chow on him. So let's not waste our chance here. And if we really want to be cheeky, we can just do this. To only have like half of them come through. If we really want to be cheeky about it. Thank you, Est the Best, for being a very good unit this chapter. The majority of them are still coming, but not all of them, so that's the midpoint point. Well, I guess just one soldier isn't coming. Alright, I think it's time to finally give S to the best a kill. With the Silver Lance, she kills exactly. And she's not in range of anything else. This chapter, ladies and gents, I want to be surprised if this episode is an hour long by the time it's done. But yeah, let's maybe try to get some kills on our underappreciated units. Caesar, you go for a killer bow right here. Okay, now this guy should get juked on by board. Yep, perfect. Perfection. No more killer bows to worry about. Now, I'm thinking... Have... Cecil deal with the other Berserker. They all have killer bows, ladies and gentlemen, so they're very unfortunate enemies to fight. But they're no match for our power, especially the power of Mage Cecil. And then after this, I think I'm going to work on a scripted video. How's that sound? Y'all like my scripted content? You do, because it gets my most views. Alright, now have Marth Marthy Pan deal with the final one with the Silver Sword. And a crit, so he doesn't even take damage. And now, have Luke just steal sword this one. Yup. Nice accuracy, bro. He's probably gonna hit anyway. Nope. Nice. And then, Mathis can get crit, and I don't want that. So. And then, let's dance for C easy pop, and just bop that other mage with the steel sword. CZ pop, CZ pop, CZ pop, pa, and somehow Massalon survived this. You got me, ladies and gents, you got me. Alright. So, ladies and gents, I'm just gonna do a cut right here, because now I'm just gonna have Marth's open these last three chests, and then get all my units in position to do this funny thing right here. So, yeah, I will be back when I'm done with that. Bye bye all right ladies and gents we are back i have saved so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna move you bellow way over here we're gonna barrier him up like this dance for him have him equip his cool little silver lance have mathis go right here to take a swarm for you bellow have Luke go right here with his silver bow equipped, ready to go. Have Caesar on standby. Marth right behind. Iced over here. Massalon to take a swarm. And then I can move everyone else up. So let's see how it goes. Haha, -ha, perhaps it is time for you to realize the terror of my magic. And he missed. Rendering my barrier staff unneeded. But, uh, in the attempts where I did try and he did hit, it was very good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we seize. Let's see, what do we have here? Swarm, swarm, physic, fortify. Well, we don't seize this turn because I want all that loot, but we come close to seizing by eliminating all actual threats. First, the board style. He finally gets to show off his hammer utility for the first time in a few chapters. Well, a, lo a long time. It hasn't been since that bridge chapter. Perfect. Let's see what you get. 
Ooh, very nice. And now Luke. Oh, boss in the... Oh, sniper in the way. Gotta take out the trash here first, I suppose. Alright. Blizzard, please. Don't crit. Thank you. Now S the best. Show them how it's done. Okay. Caesar doesn't hit anything this turn anyway. So let's not. Alright, cool. And now I finish off with S to the best. Now I do that. With my Iron Lands. Alright, S, show me what, level, what kind of level you're gonna get. You're not gonna get one at all. Awesome. Alright. Now I have Luke take out this annoying ass boss with his annoying ass meteor toe. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. There goes Willow. Please forgive me, my liege. No. Free recover for us. That's pretty smoothing. Now I can take out one swarm guy. Like that, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. Oh, Marthy Pen. Marthy Pen reaching so many stat caps. Alright, now I can just dance for Mathis and have him take out the other one. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we will officially be in the clear for this chapter. Somehow Massalon survived. Let's just appreciate the fact that I managed to keep Massalon alive through this mess. Huh. You appreciated it, ladies and gentlemen, you appreciating it. Alright, now I have two bishops here right for killing with whoever I want. Hey, do you already know who I'm gonna give them to, ladies and gents? Let's not pretend for a second that you don't. It's us the best. It, it's us the best. Look at her go. So fine. There we go. Alright. Strength and speed. And defense. Why is she gaining so much defense? This is unnatural for an Est. Alright, now another one. Promoted enemies for the little girl. Huh. <sighs> okay. Fortify. Cool. Cool. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to take our leave from this very hard chapter. And then move on to chapter 17. Sunset Isgra. Where we get to meet one of my least favorite units in the Fire Emblem franchise. But that, ladies and gents, is a story for another day, which is not today, so I... Ooh, Tomas Gaming, completely forgot he was in this chapter. Alright, ladies and gents, next chapter is hype. It's gonna be Tomas Gaming, you already know how it is. And I will see you then, Bye bye